Hi yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Sugar Channel. Today I'm here to give you my Chelsea vs Arsenal preview and lineup for our game on Wednesday night. Let's get right into it. So guys, it's going to be a slightly different preview for today. Um, as you see by the title, I do have a special guest. However, because usually they've banned me from live streaming, they've, they've banned me from recording on StreamYard, I cannot do a proper drone preview as all the other YouTubers do. So, we have to do it a different way. Um, yeah, I do have a Chelsea fan um, on this channel who will be answering my questions which I ask on, on the same video. I mean, it could be... I don't know, it's it's not going to be the best because obviously I, w I would rather it do it than doing it maybe live or pre-recorded. But this is the only way we can do it because thank, thank you YouTube for banning me. I really do appreciate that. I've been banning for the whole entire year now and I can't live stream and it's quite it's quite affects my channel a lot because like the watch time and all that. But at the end of the day, let's get into the preview. So guys, before we do start the preview, um, just one more thing. Uh, link in the description. Make sure everyone goes subscribe. Uh, everyone watching this right now to Bobby Football, uh, who's obviously joining me in this preview today. But obviously she's she's took her time out to actually record herself me answering my questions. So it makes sure everyone goes to her now. She's made about three videos, but I think she'll make some more in the future. And I think she's on like 20 subscribers or something. So make sure everyone goes subscribe to her right now. But Chelsea taking on Arsenal. Yeah, London derby. Um, we literally got three games left of the season. And yeah, I'm not ready for it at all. Oh, I can just see it's, it's, it's at Stamford Bridge. The last time we won at Stamford Bridge was 10 years ago. Um, 2012, I think. 2011, when I think we won 5-3 or 5-2. Van Persie scored a hat-trick. And... Yeah, it was just I ain't confident. As I said, like <laughs> the fact that we haven't beat one at Stamford Bridge in nine years is just ab abysmal. And yeah, obviously the fact that Tuchel as well. <laughs> don't get me started on him. Oh my god, he's coming, and um, our fans are running out. Oh, if we sack Arteta, we're going in a circle, and circle, and circle. Oh, it it will be too soon to sack Arteta. At the end of the day, yeah, look what Chelsea do. Sat manager after manager after manager after manager, and look at them. They're the most uh, su successful club in England in, in the past 18 years now. 18 years. And our fans want about the pro um, our fans want to trust the process. For oh, it's gonna take time. It's, it's gonna take five years. No, f, f the process. F the five years. Do it now and then. And um, I do think, like I said, Conky is a big big issue um, because Rome, Roman um, I guess actually cares for Chelsea. But at the end of the day, Arteta, he's just out of his depth. And uh, what's Tuchel absolutely pull his pants down? And listen, this is film of Arteta. He looks good when he's up against a freaking Steve Bruce, yeah? He looks good when he's up, when, when he's up against Sean Dyche. Um, but at, at, at the end of the day, when it comes to Tuchel, when it comes to Una Emery, who actually good tactically, his pants get pulled down. And it's going to be the same. Uh, I, I do think it will, it will be the same uh, as Sanford Bridge. Now, uh, let's, let's talk about Tuchel himself. He's come in, yeah. Frank Lampard got sacked uh, after, I think, we was, uh, there was two points above us. Um, were two, there two... There, there was a point where Frank Lampard in, in December, Arteta even beat Frank Lampard 3-1 at Ali Emirates. And they sacked him. We didn't. We kept Arteta. Um, they sacked him. He was a club legend. Yeah, what a legend he was for Chelsea. And they sacked him. They said, no, nah, mate, not good enough. Bought in Tuchel, look, look at Chelsea now. Third place in the league. Yeah, we we can't even get eighth place in the league. They're in third. FA Cup final, Champions League final. Next season, if Tuchel finishes 10th, wins in the FA Cup again, you sacks. That's their mentality. If Chelsea do not even challenge for the title next season, you sacks. That's their mentality. Our mentality is, oh, oh, it's okay that we're... Don't look at the league position. Nah, this is what sort of I say now. Don't look at the league position. Oh, oh, we if if the league started in uh, February, we'll be top of the league because the amount of wins we've been picking up. Seriously, where do these fans? Where do our fans get this much uh, much waffle from? They speak more waffle than Captain's Birdseye. <laughs> like they actually do. Where do they get this? F Why do they even come out with so much shy? The season does not start in February. It starts in August. Yeah, who who actually cares? I, I I don't care if 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 you know we've scored the most goals or if 
we've got the second best defense in the league. Do you remember that saying as well? Yeah, well, we don't have any, we don't, we don't anymore, do we? We don't have the best defense in the league anymore. Um, but no, I'm, I'm just, I just get annoyed about our fans thinking this, this is all acceptable. At the end of the day, it's not acceptable, and um, I'm just so scared for Chelsea to pull our pants down. Like, I can just see this happening, and I'm not confident one bit. Even if we do lose, does it matter? If we win, does it matter? No, it don't. It's just gonna be. It's like, like I said, I said before. These next three games are just friendlies now. Just friendlies. Just have, have a bit of fun. Play the youth, and I'll even play the youth against Chelsea. I just don't even care. I don't care because at the end of the day, what does it matter? If we win, we stay ninth. If we lose, we probably will go tenth. If we draw, we will stay ninth again. So, it is what it is. So, but no. Um, so that's my particular lineup. Um, let's get into that then. So I think, oh, I've gone with Matt Ryan. Uh, people say, oh, why, why are you not playing Berlin though? And he does look like he's going to be going out the door in January. Well done, well done, Mikel on set off, and I'm putting all the blame on him. Yeah, him and Edu as well. Every si put the blame on him because at the end of the day, he decided to sell our best goalkeeper in Emmy Martinez. Yeah, he decided to sell our best goalkeeper in in Emmy Martinez because he thought Leno was going to be good enough to be number one. Well done, Mikel on set off, and then you just has been in Runison as well. Yeah, that this is his decisions. Yeah, not Cronky's. This is his decisions. This is not Cronky's decisions. This is Mikel Arteta's decisions. At the end of the day, he sold it Emmy Martinez, which I was fine with selling Emmy Martinez because I thought Leno was actually going to be the one. Yeah, and he deserves to keep his number one spot in my opinion. But the fact that he wants to that that we put him on the transfer list apparently, we've actually put him on the transfer list, and we, and we want to sell him is an absolute disgrace. Why did we sell Emmy Martinez then? Why did we do that if we, if you want to sell uh, Leno as well? Just this club's a mess. Um, I'm gonna go with Matt Ryan for this game though. Uh, moving on to the back four, right back. I'm gonna go with Callum Chambers. I thought he was absolutely superb against West Brom. People say yes, it's only West Brom, but even it, against other teams, he's been superb. Um, so yeah, Callum Chambers is definitely gonna go in that right back position. Cedric, don't think they might manage to rate you anymore, mate. Nah, you can go on the bench for the time now. Um, you. Uh, you you played the last game against I, I, I generally forgot what what even happened to Cedric, um, but no anyway um, Cedric, yeah um, on the bench again mate Chambers will go right back uh, centre backs will go with uh, Gabriel Magalas um, forty nine right against West Brom and also then we'll go with Pablo Murray here we go again you can't play with left foot centre backs next to each other Oh my god, you can, for God's sakes, you can play two left footed centre backs. Put them together. I'm going to go Mary Gabriel in the centre back role. Uh, left back, I'm going to go my left back, my captain, Kieran Tierney. Played against first Brom, I thought he didn't look fully fit at all. But I think I think I was starting because it's Chelsea. Big game, even though there's nothing to play for. Kieran Tierney will go left back. Uh, moving on to the midfield, I'm going to go with Thomas Partey. Uh, came off the bench against West Brom, probably means he's going to start against Chelsea. And also, I didn't go with Mohamed Elneny. Granite Jack is not getting into the, into the squad. Um, he probably is still injured anyway, which uh, I'm glad. Uh, Danny Ceballos, I don't know why Why is he still here. Why you, Arnett and Ceballos can go back to Spain. Just ship them off back to Spain. At the end of the day, Ceballos can go to Real Madrid. And Arnett can go, uh, can go and get his new job at CDAS or something like that. Because at the end of the day, they're, they're both just not good enough for Arsenal Football Club. And um, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go Elneny and Partey. Uh, moving on to the midfield, Ugh, I'm I'm done. Uh, move, moving on to the cam roll, we're gonna go with Martin Odegaard. Um, yeah, what's happened to Odegaard? I get that he's, you know, came back from an injury, but recently he's looked poor, and um, I guess it is because he's coming back from a little injury. But hopefully we. He'll start this game and we'll get we'll get to see the best of him. But yeah, Odegaard will go to number ten. And moving on to the front three, right side I'm going with Bakari Saka. Uh, left hand side I'm going to go with Lacazette. I think he's no Lacazette. Come on, um, this is quite tough. Right, Saka will go right. Scrap that. We're scrapping it. We're scrapping the lineup. Matt Ryan in goal, Chambers, uh, Mary Gabriel, Saka left back, played superb against West Brom there. Uh, Party El Nenny, Odegaard, Pepe, Lacazette, 
and Martinelli as my front three. Where's Aubameyang? You may all ask. Ah, uh, maybe Aubameyang up top. Hold on. Let me figure this one out. No, I'm gonna go Lacazette. I'm gonna go Lacazette for this game. Lacazette, Martinelli, and obviously Pepe. Go. Oh, um. Like, let's go. Go. Go for it one more time, so I don't confuse you guys. Uh, we're gonna. I've forgot to give my score prediction. Jesus Christ. What is going on today? Sham shambolical. Absolutely shambolical. My score prediction um, is going to be an Arsenal... I don't see us winning this. I don't see us winning this. I, I generally don't see us winning this. 2-1 Ars <laughs> Arsenal. Yay, 2 on Arsenal. Let's get that win, Gunners. But no, um, yeah, Ryan will go in goal. We're going to go right back. We're going to go um, uh, Chambers, Mary, Gabriel, T uh, Saka, Elneny, Parse, Odegaard, Pepe, Lacazette and Martinelli. Is it over yet? The, the preview's not over. It's been an absolute shambles, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm on today. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just stuttering every single time. At the end of the day, guys, um, I keep saying at the end of the day, it's just an absolute shambles. But no, guys, yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Arsenal. Come on, you Gunners. And, um, yeah, we're going to uh, bring in uh, Bobby now to see what uh, she thinks of the game. Um, she probably predict, predict Arsenal to get relegated, but um, let's get into it. So, guys, my first question for Bobby is, uh, what do you think the score is going to be? For me, I said 2-1 Arsenal. So, what's your score? And my score prediction for the game... I think it will be a 2-1 Chelsea win. So guys, my second question is, what what is your predicted lineup for your team? Obviously, I gave you mine. Um, but yeah, I probably for me, I expect to see probably like Mount, Havertz, Finding Timo and all that. But what will be your uh, ideal eleven to take on off? So I'm going to do my Chelsea lineup. So um, in goal, I'm going to put Mendy. Then in defence, I'm going to put Azpilicueta, Zuma. Rudiger and James. Um, the midfielders, I'm going to put Mount, Zayek, Jorginho, and I'm going to put Alonso in there as well. Um, and the forwards, I'm going to put Giroud and Werner. So my third question is, what do you think about Arsenal? Do you think uh, Arteta will pull down Tuchel's pants? Do you think Arteta is a good manager? Do you think Arteta, uh, Arteta should stay at Arsenal? Um, and most importantly, do you think Arsenal will, you know, actually... Do well next season. So I think Arteta should leave. Um, I don't think he'll leave this season. I think he'll leave next season. So like, give it a couple of games and he'll be sacked. Um, he's definitely not a good manager for Arsenal because like they they're not winning like any trophies this season, and they normally do win a trophy. So um, so yeah, I think Arteta is just a bad manager. <laughs> Alright guys, so that will be the end of the preview. Like I said, I do think it will be two on Arsenal. Very awesome, uh, optimistic, but yeah, I want to thank a uh, massive shout out to Bobby Football for coming on um, and actually recording and you know what she thinks. So if I could actually do a proper joint preview with different fans, I would. YouTube, if if you, obviously if you are watching this, just unban me. I beg, um, just unban me so I can actually make content properly um, because I would love to hear what other fans say. Get them on, but obviously with YouTube, um, they decided to brand, uh, ban me for a whole entire year. So unfortunately, I cannot do that. So I have to do it this way, which is uh, quite a stupid way. At the end of the day, I, I, it, we have to work something out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe to new world 700 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one.